thank you all very much for joining this session today and thank you all for registering to this course uh, it's very i'm very happy to see such a great uh, participation to the course that i just started for the first time so you all are will be the part of my first batch so i'm very pleased uh, to see you all here um, and i think this batch would be the best of all because this is the first start you know whenever you start something new um, you are very excited and happy and you, we form like a very close group uh, right away. So although we have done the uh, webinar uh, before, uh, but there are some people, uh, some participants who are new uh, to this session. So I think it will be a good, good, uh, good 21 days uh, for, for, for everyone. All right. So what I wanted to, uh, what I want to start off by saying is, uh, being part of this literature, systematic literature review course uh, will give you the chance to get one of your research papers done before the end of this year, if you put in the right amount of effort. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of you might be thinking that, oh, this may not be possible, or how could, how could, we, how could we achieve this? Uh, so let's see how, how we, can, uh, we can do that. All right. So before, uh, I mean, sometime later today, I will send you a copy, a link to this pre-course questionnaire. And the reason I want to, uh, I'm, I'm doing this uh, is because uh, I want to know your current uh, understanding, or it's like a self-reflection of your, your own assessment of your research or your research capabilities. So after looking at that uh, response, uh, to this questionnaire, uh, I can see if you need any specific help or guidance uh, compared to others. So that is a good, uh, it's a good indicator for me to provide better uh, coaching and training for you. I have to advise you that it is a fairly long questionnaire. So at least keep a fair bit of time when you, when you complete the answers. And it will be good for yourself as well to think along those lines that, uh, along those lines of these of these questions. All right, so the objective behind this course is to get you writing. You know, in the previous webinar series that we did, I taught a lot about how to do systematic literature review. And uh, quite a few of you would have started uh, on your paper, but getting, to, uh, getting you all to kind of complete the paper and submit it, is what is the objective that I have behind this session, this course, okay? So today is 1st of December. By 21st of December, I would want you to have your paper submitted for review, and then you can go and enjoy the new year. Okay, so that is, that is the plan, that is the objective. So keep that, keep that in mind, and we will be able to do it. So how is it that we are going to achieve that target? If you have looked at any uh, good systematic literature review paper, uh, many or many journals for that matter of fact, will accept anywhere between 4,000, sorry, 5,000 to 6,000 uh, words for your, for your paper. So what I've done here is I've broken down that large or massive target into small manageable pieces. Okay, so the target is to do 200 words a day. Yeah, it's fairly reasonable target to achieve and we can do it. And part of it, we will do it even in the session. Okay, so that is the target, 200 words a day. Across 21 days, you should ideally have 4,200 words plus references. So I'm not counting references here. References will be added as you uh, write your paper. So 4,200 plus say another thousand words of references or more will get you to that 5,000, 6,000 mark easily. Yeah, so keep that target in mind um, every day. These are some of the strict rules or say uh, something that we should follow every day. So we will start exactly at a 9.30 per time and we will have 40 minutes. I don't want to make these sessions too long but to the point, today's session may take a little longer for because to set up everything and to go on. When you start the session, uh, please be on mute. So it is easier. There is no disturbance for others. 
I have sent you all a copy of, oh, sorry, I have sent you all a Google Docs request. Has, have every one of you received it? If you have not, then please check uh, your spam folder. Uh, it might have gone there. Uh, but basically what I want is, that is the document that we will use when you write your paper, because it is very convenient uh, for me to just log into Google and check your update rather than you emailing me your work. And I can see that in real time as well. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five screens behind me. So all the papers I can open in parallel. Um, and whenever I'm after the session, when I'm reading it, I don't have to go back to email, dig up uh, stuff and things. So the Google Docs will be where we will have everything. So I have named it with your name. So your name is the name of the Google document that I have shared. So make sure that you have uh, that, uh, you can access that. And if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Uh, throughout the session, so 30 minutes, uh, we will limit only to uh, me talking and teaching. Uh, and we will keep 10 minutes for Q&A. And if you have any further questions other than those in the 10 minutes, you can put those questions on the 21 days of writing group that I have created on my website. And I will answer to those questions either in text or I might just combine all questions and answer it as a video. Yeah, so rest assured all your questions will be answered. Uh, post all your questions on the community and, and uh, okay. And the next is focus on getting your writing done. So that is what I want uh, you to achieve in this, in this exercise. No matter what happens, you have to keep that 200 word target for the day. Yeah, if you have to get up in the midnight or get up early in the morning or take your lunch break, whatever you do, you have to stick to that target. Okay, and I'll make it easy for you to make to do that. I'll show you in, in the uh, next session, uh, sorry, uh, in the next slides, what is it that you can write and what changes you need to do to make it uh, easier for you to uh, get to that, that, get to that target. Okay, and finally, I'm there uh, to guide you all in this whole journey. So for the next 21 days, I am there with you. And another thing, the reason why I started this course today is because I'm going on leave from today. Yeah, for the next five months. So I had to finish a lot of leave that I had at my job. So I'm finishing that, but I thought, oh, what can I do if I have if I don't go to office, I need something to do, you know? So I thought I will start this, uh, start this course. And I'm very happy with the response that I have got. And another reason is why 21 days? You know, I could have had it 10 days. I could have had it 15 days. How I could have had it for hundred days, but why specifically 21 days? So the reason for that is you might have read somewhere that it takes 21 days to make a new habit and 90 days to change your lifestyle. Yeah, somebody had said that, I don't know who, had, who it is, but the reason for 21 days is I want writing to become a habit for all of you. And you continue it for the next 90 days, it will become a lifestyle. And you will, if you don't do that, you will find uncomfortable. Oh, I haven't written something today. You know, so that is a reason why I have called it 21 days.